me for today's new episode of Ramadan Talks. So now, how are you doing? How's your Ramadan going? It's going well. How about yours? Good. Thank you for asking. So, Abla, today we will talk about the the woman in Islam. My first question is, what is the importance of women in Islam? Um, yes, women in Islam is important. However, Allah has created all men and women equally. For example, from Surah Al Imran 195, I will never deny any of you, male or female, the reward of your deeds both are equal in reward. And Surah An Nisa 124, as for those who lead a righteous life, male or female, while believing, they enter paradise without a slightest injustice. For example, with Islam, women had the right to own property, get education, work, and also have full freedom of their expression of views. What about the money? With the money, uh, there's an ayat from the Quran that says, whatever a man earns, they have a share of that. And whatever a woman earns, they have a share of that too. Oh, but money was interesting. But what about politics? In this country, we were granted the right to vote in the 1920s. However, Islam had granted the right to her about 1,400 years ago. Islam provides women with the right to vote, participate in public and private affairs, and also women can take leadership positions. Let's end the first question with a short story. From Khalifa Omar's time, a woman argued with him in the mosque, uh, proved her point, and caused him to declare the presence of people. The woman is right and Omar is wrong. Thank you for the great story, Abla. Now I can move on to the second question. With women being oppressed all around the world, what is Islam's re response? Uh, let's say it's not only women being oppressed in the world, but Allah hates the mistreatment of any people. And whether this is men, women, children, or elder, Allah hates the oppression. Uh, from one of the ayahs in the Quran, O oh people, we created you from the same male and female, and rendered you in distinct peoples and tribes, that you may recognize one another. The best among you is the sight of God and is the most righteous. Thank you, Zinyabla, for this great response. Our next topic is about the love and respect the Mo Prophet Muhammad gave to us girls. That's a great topic, Afsa. According to one narration, the Prophet was holding Umana on his lap while praying. And during his prayer, he went to Sajda and left Umana aside and got her back and continued his prayer. This is a great example to show his Umana at that time because the girls were treated as right. With such important obligation like prayer, the Prophet shows his Umana the way to treat girls. In an hadith, whoever has three daughters and is patient towards them, and feeds them, gives them a drink, and clothes them from his wealth. They will be a shield for him for, in, for the, from the fire in the day of resurrection. Thank you for great responses, Abla. I will see you in the next episode of Ramadan Talks. Until, take care until next time.